Welcome to WebStarverse. How to find Fibonacci number of a given index. Fibonacci numbers are like these. Ignore the zero and we have these Fibonacci numbers. Fibonacci sequence is a series of numbers in which each number is the sum of two preceding numbers. We want to find the Fibonacci number by providing its index number. For example, if I use 3, I should get 2 because in Fibonacci sequence, 2 is at index number 3. If I use 6, I should get 8. If I use 8, I should get 21 and so on. In this video, we will look into that. But before that, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because I am bringing similar content on this topic. Okay, so to do that, define a function that takes in a single parameter num. You can use the recursive approach to find the Fibonacci number of a given index. If the number is less than or equal to 1, return that number. Otherwise, call function twice, once with the input decremented by 1, and once with the input decremented by 2. Then add the two returned values together, and return the result. Call the function with the input, which will output the number in the Fibonacci sequence for the given index. For example, for 3, I get 2. For 6, I get 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. For 8, I get 21. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There is another way to do it. Define a function that takes in a single parameter n. Initialize three variables, current with value 0, previous with value 1, and next with value n. n is the input. Current previous and next will keep track of the current previous and next Fibonacci number respectively. The Fibonacci sequence is a series of numbers in which each number is the sum of two preceding ones, usually starting with 0 and 1. Use a for loop starting from 2 to n. n is given index number. Reassign next as the sum of current and previous, current as previous, and previous as next. Basically on each iteration, calculate the next Fibonacci number by adding current and previous together and assign it to the next. At the end of loop, return the final value of next. Call the function with an input which would output the number in the Fibonacci sequence. So this is how we can find Fibonacci number of a given index. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.